commercial. What is the beep with the debut? Welcome to my get ready with me, like we're on FaceTime chit chat while I get ready for the Eras tour. I'm so hyped. I hardly ever do get ready with me videos and this will be like my second like soul get ready with me video and I'm very excited about it. I really do love filming them and why not for the Eras tour, right? I know I put this out wrong, but I just can't help it. So we are getting ready for SoFi Night 6 in LA at the Ares tour, the last show of the first US leg. And I'm in a house full of Swifties, let me tell you. I got two drinks ready, coffee and water. And I'm probably gonna have an Alani later. But it's time to get freaking ready. I have been like planning this for a really long time and just like seeing if it was gonna work out. Like I wasn't gonna be devastated if it didn't because I have gotten the chance to go to other shows. But I really, really wanted to go to this one and I'm in a house full of Swifties and it just couldn't be more magical. Like being able to share the love you have of something with someone, especially amazing people that you genuinely love. It's just one of the best things in life. So I'm here with Samantha Joe, Anna Hyde, and my mother, Jenica. And we are just making a content out of the wazoo this weekend. I was talking to them and just like getting what they're filming and like all the stuff they're gonna do. And I asked them if I should do a separate get ready with me and they were all like, yeah, what do you mean? Of course you should. And so here we are. I'm just prepping my skin a little bit with my normal. I have a couple of new products since my last Get Ready With Me that I'm very excited to share about. We are utterly convinced, I mean like to the point we're delusional, that we are getting 1989 Taylor's version tonight. Like we are utterly delusional. When I announced that I was going to be recorded by Watching this and you're thinking girl good for you you got it I can't believe I can't believe it and if you're watching this being like girl you were so delusional you did not get it know that we know that we're delusional but we're still just like every sign points to it I just can't believe it so Samantha Joe and Anna got are getting their makeup and hair professionally done but I wanted to do this get ready with me video so I decided not to I was gonna do hair just at first, but I decided to do a slick back and I love how I do my slick backs. I've like perfected all the products and everything. So I opted not to, but I'm very excited to see how their makeup turns out. We'll go check on them in just a second if I need to refill my water. I'm very grateful to say this will be my fourth show, which is just crazy that I've had the opportunity to go this many times, but I truly, we were talking about this morning, if I had to pick, if someone came up to me and said, you can pick three shows to go relive, it would be three of the ones I've been to. I was in the very first night and 
Arizona. I vlogged that with Samantha Jo, so go check that one out if you haven't. And then I also went to the second night there because someone was selling tickets, tickets for super, super, super cheap. So we were able to get them. Um, we did not plan on going at all, but basically they were so cheap, we were able to. And then I got, I survived the Great War for Nashville night one on Ticketmaster and got those three tickets. Yeah? Thanks. I should have filmed for I'm bringing you. Cutie. Oh, so I survived the Great War of Ticketmaster for Nashville night one, which ended up being where she freaking released or announced Sweet Canal, Taylor Swift was coming out. I have not been more emotional in a very long time. Like, I don't know the last thing that made me that emotional. It was an incredible thing to witness. I'm very specific about what makeup type. I just literally only like certain products applied certain ways so that it looks like the same every single time. I'm really bad at getting like glam because literally the makeup I do to go to Nashville just running errands is the same makeup I do for like Taylor. So I really, really need to get more into it. But I just love like this right here. Holy grail. The sunshine, the milk sunshine skin tint foundation. It's literally my foundation for everything. I did just a bit of this to add a little bit more, but I hardly ever do that. We were also talking about this morning how literally this concert is bringing so many people together. Like just in LA, we've, anyone we've seen with friendship bracelets or Taylor March, we're like, start a whole conversation with them. And it's just like a whole community, especially when we're going to like concerts together and we're all in the same place. It's just so fun and like a crazy thing to be able to experience. Like it is wild that we are alive in the same time as Taylor Swift. Like a blessing. Blessing. Thank you. We close the door. We are, okay, so last night we were all gathered on the couch watching the Air Store on TikTok Live, as you do, and she played I Know Places, which leaves only one 1989 song left, and we're like, well, duh, she's releasing it tonight with that one song, but other than that, we are utterly stumped on surprise songs. Everyone comment right now what your number one surprise song would have been if you could pick, like, Taylor, I want you to play this one, and she would say yes. What would you have picked? Mine would have been You're On Your Own Kid. And the first time I found out she played it, I think it was in Tampa, I literally cried. And she played it two shows before mine in LA. She played it in LA two shows before mine. I forgot it was even on the table because she didn't do repeats unless she messed up. And she didn't mess up, but it's midnight. And I forgot that she specifically said, if it's on midnights, I can do it as many times as I want to. But she's not going to do it twice in LA. But that was my number one surprise song that if I could have handpicked, that one would have been it. I just have such a weirdly deep connection with it. And I don't even know why. This headband has come in clutch so many times. It's literally just from Target. But it's silk on the bottom. And I'm on a very serious health journey for my hair because I dyed it bleach blonde and I'm trying to rebuild it and that's just like something that's like oh duh that should have silk on the bottom but I really do love it I think I literally just grabbed it for maybe like the little beauty section at Target one time I really should lean back my posture has been so bad there's so many steps in like a face like this that I normally forget because I only do it for like this in Coachella that like bronzer I hardly ever do but I need to do it today and I would have for sure skipped right over that step normally. I was never a powder girl before I found this Glossier powder. What's it called? Wilder. And it does the job for under eyes. I really am specific about my under eyes. Like I'm always looking for the best concealer, just any product for my under eye. And this I've really enjoyed. It just makes it not crease as bad and like just stick a little bit more. Look at that. This also has been a game changer for me. I just got it and I've worn it probably every single day. And I do have a link with them where you can get a free signature makeup bag with your first purchase. So I'll put that in the description. Contour, that's funny that I can't forget. I've only ever used the Makeup by Mario one. I've This was the first one I ever got. And I just stuck with it, you know? If something's good, why change it? I also don't know if I apply it correctly, so. Don't take my advice on this particular portion. 
I'd really love a Reputation surprise song. I'd really love Endgame. I think that'd be such a good one. Like, the, it's the end of the first leg. Like, Endgame. I don't know. Could be a vibe. I can't believe, like, I'm talking so much about surprise songs and, like, what they're going to be when y'all literally know. But I don't, so it's, like, hard to talk about it. But I'll try to put this video up pretty fast so that it can get not too past the time where everyone knows. I don't know how to do this for the life of me. I can't blend with that hand. I am doing a whole vlog on today besides just this get ready. We like I'm doing a, we went to Earth this morning. We went and checked out the stadium and talked to one of the workers. And obviously tonight we think that we're in the sweep, but we're not too sure. Sam was like all in charge of guy getting the tickets. We trusted her with it. And she we can't like figure out where they are. So that's gonna be a great mystery for us to solve tonight. So make sure you tune into the vlog for that. Looking pretty good. What is next? See, now I'm out of order because I don't usually do that. We'll do, I bounce back and forth between two different brow products. The e.l.f. Brow Lift and the Patrick Ta. But for stuff like this, like a full face, I usually do the e.l.f. And for like more natural, I'll do the Patrick Ta. I don't know why, that's just the way they, respond the best but the Patrick Ta just like makes them still look naturalish where these like kind of glue it down you know what I mean we're also really hoping that Selena Gomez is at the tour tonight she was there last night we're really hoping she's there tonight too brows are actually looking good today wow that's never that easy I'm shocked shocked her in there what next ice I once again forgot to bring like a fun palette. I always forget. That's one thing I will forget every single time is like a fun eyeshadow palette. But it's okay. As long as we got sparkles and we got sparkles to match my outfit. Also, at this point, y'all have seen my outfit. Did I kill it or what? It was honestly my dream era's outfit, but it was so expensive that I wasn't able to get it for my other shows. However, it was on like literally. I got a 60 plus a 20 I found. So I got an 80% off or else I wouldn't have been able to. And I just, I really couldn't be happier with it. My trick with my eyes to make them still look natural and glowy but sparkly is I use the Item Beauty Highlighter, the liquid highlighter on my eyes. And I love it. If I could ask Taylor Swift one question, I would ask her, what is the beef with debut? Why is there not one debut song on the whole freaking tour? Why? That's what I would ask Taylor so if I had if I had the option. I need to go check out what they're doing in a second. I'm also not there's like very minimal stuff that I've added to my makeup routine to like upgrade it to like big girl makeup routine. Eyeliner is one of those. And mom says it makes me look so much older. And so I just keep doing it. And the makeup on Mario one comes with like a brush on the end. So it makes it super easy. I probably wouldn't have known what to do if it weren't for it. Yeah, see, look at that difference it adds. Yeah, for sure he did that. Do you need anything? Uh-uh. Do you need that music turned down for your... No, it's, it's actually not that loud in here. Okay. What you doing? Um, I'm about to curl my hair mm -hmm. that, like, the ends because for the update it needs to be, like, curly and crazy on top of it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I think if I... I don't want to do makeup now. Mm-hmm. So I think that that's the best option. Yeah. Okay. Have fun. Thanks. Bye. Bye. After eyes, we're gonna go check on what Anna looks like. She's going first for makeup. I also brought jewels to go in my slick back bun because of my outfit, it's gonna match. So, it's gonna be so cute. Perfection, perfection. Let's go see what they're doing. How's it going in here? Look at my brows. Oh my God. I've never seen them so perfect. They look so good. Wow. That's my favorite eyeshadow brush. I swear by it. It's so good. <laughs> you have a little mimosa? A little mimosa. A little mimosa. <laughs> Anna's playing the music on the screen and screen mirroring so I can see them taking. <laughs> oh my God, it's a video yeah. That's so funny. <laughs> okay, I'm actually really liking the makeup so far. Also, look how beautiful this painting is. It's like a little beach hut thing that has purple and chanel on it love that i'm really liking my makeup so far 
I feel like I'm missing just like a little, oh, that's what I should, I should have put on glow screen. That would have added so much glowiness. I'm so not smart. We're finishing up mascara. I don't, unpopular opinion, I know. I don't love any of the rep ones. I mean the, not rep, I love every rep. I don't love the uh, debut ones that are left. So I wouldn't be heartbroken if we didn't get those. I also got Tim McGraw on the first night and teardrops on my guitar. So I feel like I got two of the best debut. And the fact that we get to see her sing August in August is just like beyond crazy. How fun would it be to be a makeup artist? Like you just get to be friends with your clients and talk and do what you love. Like that is so cool. I do also have an update on my summer internship that I've been bringing you guys along to some days. So it was a summer internship and I really just liked having something like that to look forward to every week and give me just a little bit of structure. So I just was thinking about like what I wanted to do, what experience I want to get under my belt because I've told you guys I want to for sure get a job when we move to New York just to put myself out there a little bit more and just, you know, what's the harm in it? And so I just need to get some things under my belt for my resume. So I was thinking, and I was like, oh my gosh, I should talk to Glamour. Formal, so that I got my prom dress and literally every dress I wear in New York. I should talk to them and see if they're like looking at hiring someone part-time and see what the vibe is. And so I messaged her and she's like, oh my God, I'm looking exactly for someone part-time. I think you'd be perfect. Let's have a little meeting. So I went in for a meeting and I work there now. I'm very excited about it. I love that place with all of my heart. It's where we get every, that's where mom got her heirs outfit. We get everything that we can from there. So to be working there just makes sense. And I'm very excited. So that's gonna be our new adventure together. It's gonna be super fun. And mom said like very true. There's, an in, there's a potential for this to spark an interest in some kind of fashion for me. And I'm about to move to the fashion capital of the world. So if it doesn't, I wasn't planning on it but if it does like fun times so i'm very excited about that you feel bit me every time it's always this side that hurts more i don't know my eyes watering i got this elf lash and roll from an amazon influencer thing that they sent out and i've really enjoyed it it separates it's definitely for length and i'm a length not a volume for my for a lashes girl and it definitely does that. And it like separates them really good. It's not clumpy. I overall highly recommend. And I'm definitely a very picky person on my mascaras. I think I'm going to try the trend where you like put the liquid blush over the powder blush to make it stick more. Because I have had that issue so bad lately. So I'm going to try that out. My under eyes just never get lighter. It's crazy. This is a great tool for traveling. It's from Amazon. They came in like a huge pack. Also, I have definitely grown as a Swifty since the first concert I went to. I did not appreciate folklore and evermore enough. And I definitely do now. So I think I've grown and matured as a Swifty. Thanks to the aerosol. I don't know if this is necessarily smart to do, but I like to press in my powder with my beauty blender. I don't know why. It's just kind of become a habit. And it just makes it more, look more smooth, I feel like. Okay, so powder then liquid blush. For this one, mom gave me this Laura Mercier strawberry blush that I really love as a powder to keep in my purse and everything. So that one's gonna go in the bottom. I'm gonna let it sit there for a second. And then I had to, oh, I need to do this under my eyes. This is coming so in handy. It's super group, so it's sunscreen, but it's powder. Love it. I've also not heard Long Live Live. She added that after all of my ones that I've gone to. So I'm very excited to hear that for the first time live. And then Rare Beauty, of course. Is there any other blush to use? That does look a lot better than it usually does. Usually it literally fades off my face in two seconds. And then I do think I'm gonna add some of this on top because it's kind of like a balm and I think it just will add a little bit of glowiness to it. I'm telling you, I know it looks like I'm putting a lot of blush on, but it dissolves off my face. Like, 
so fast. Okay, I think we're pretty close to done with the makeup. Finally, that did take a long time, I feel like. Okay, pack it all up, pack it all up. And then I'm gonna have to borrow mom's setting spray. Okay, I put setting spray on though. I'm gonna put some more on though. Now it's time for hair. I put the bodysuit that I'm wearing under the jacket on so I have nothing that'll need to go over my head because I'm doing a slick back bun. That's what we're doing. I am gonna put some hair oil in my hair though just so the ends aren't super dry. I also just posted a video of my hair care favorites so if that's something you're interested in, check that one out. But I think we might need to go in the bathroom. I haven't been in this bathroom. Let's see what the mirror looks like. Okay, well it's on the side of the wall. The sink is right here. Oh, but this is a full mirror. This, okay, so we're gonna sit you guys. Of course I haven't had to pee all day and then the first time I put a bodysuit on, I have to pee. Okay. Okay, she's brushed through. Now we have to find the perfect placing for it. And also get out the comb and hair towel. Let's brush it through all It has to be perfect, guys, it has to be perfect. Okay, I got this brush. I think it'll be a little bit better for this. Okay, looking good. Okay, my arms are getting tired. to redo but I don't think I'm going to have to because I kind of really like it and then these are key okay outfit time okay you ready I know you are because you've seen it because karma is my boyfriend it's raining hold on we gotta go inside to talk about it so this is the final fit I am absolutely in love. It's from Nasty Gal. Like I said, it was super expensive, like not realistic to buy, but 80% off, it was a little bit more realistic and a bit of a splurge at the same time, but I love it. What I'm wearing under is literally a Amazon bodysuit. And then these earrings, if you remember, I got them at the Speak Now release party at Mary Catherine Design, and they literally fit the... This is the outfit. I hope you love it. It's time to go to the Eras tour. Make sure you watch that vlog. Bye.